In this video, we take a look at experience management for Horizon, powered by Workspace One Intelligence. We take you, the IT administrator, through a walkthrough of the experience management section. We take a look at the available dashboards and understand the experience scores. We will also see the telemetry data that's being collected from the Horizon clients and agents in the form of metrics and applied with the thresholds that can be customized for your environment. With these dashboards, IT administrators can now assess the health of their Horizon environments. Let's take a closer look in this demo. The experience management solution provides IT administrators the ability to track digital workspace metrics impacting employee experience, proactively identifying issues, performing root cause analysis, and providing a quick remediation. This is done by the IT administrator who would review historical reports dashboards, and workflows in the Workspace ONE Intelligence Console, which can also integrate with third-party tools. Let's log into the Workspace ONE portal. We start with logging into the VMware CSP portal or the Cloud Services Platform portal, from which we launch the Workspace ONE Console. From the navigation ribbon on the left, we click on the Experience Score under the Experience Management section, which brings us into the Experience Score dashboard. The information collected by Workspace ONE Intelligence and DEEM does not require any additional monitoring agents. The capability is built into the latest version of the Horizon client and agent. From the information presented, the Organization Experience Score tile is healthy, where the current state is green is good. We also see brief periods where issues were detected in the environment, as shown in the 4-hour segments. The total active sessions metric in this dashboard shows a total of 197 active user sessions being registered with most of the users connecting in with neutral scores. We also see more metrics that break down the experience scores to logon experience, network protocol experience, and the VM performance experience, where at the moment the dashboard shows four users having VM performance issues. Looking at the total session score, we have 188 users reporting good scores. Scrolling down, we take a look at the logon duration score, which shows session connection statistics over a four hour period. Looks like 4 p.m. had doubled the number of users connecting into their VDIs. Looking at the neutral score, we have nine user sessions that are currently registered. When we click on the user account in the neutral score, we are now taken into the logon experience dashboard. The logon experience dashboard now shows us connection-related metrics for these nine user sessions. We see that these nine users have crossed the logon duration threshold of 30 seconds that has been set and reflect under the neutral score for the total sessions. Let's navigate back to the experience score and take a look at the thresholds that have been set. The thresholds that can be set for the virtual session can range from CPU usage, disk and protocol latency, logon duration, protocol packet loss, disk IOPS, and memory usage. A new metric, the Wi-Fi signal strength from the endpoint device to its connected Wi-Fi source, which we will take a look at as we go through this demo. We also have a virtual experience threshold score that can be set at an organization level. Going back to the main experience dashboard, let's take a closer look at the network protocol metrics by clicking into it. We are presented with the Wi-Fi signal strength score and the protocol packet loss score. The Wi-Fi signal strength score shows one user session tagged with a neutral score. Let's click into this chart to take a look at the user session details. The details provided show the client Wi-Fi signal strength and the packet loss as well as the protocol latency from the endpoint device into the user session. The client Wi-Fi signal strength from this user falls within the threshold for the neutral score. The edit column can add more details to the session like a column for the Wi-Fi SID to help identify if the Wi-Fi source is a corporate office, home network, or a public connection. Let's go back to the main dashboard. Under the protocol packet loss score, we see a user having registered a poor score. Let's take a closer look by clicking on the poor score. We can see that this user has a 14% packet loss being registered. All the other metrics are within threshold limits. Let's go back to the main dashboard. 
we have four users that reflect with poor scores. Let's click into the VM performance counter to get more details. As we scroll through the VM metrics, we get to see the session scores in a four hour interval being displayed. We see the CPU and memory usage scores, both showing most of the users having a neutral score. The disk latency score for the user sessions are all in green. However, the disk IOP scores show a subset of users at the 4 p.m. interval reporting a poor score. Let's turn our focus on the four sessions reporting a poor score. We now understand that these four users have a high memory utilization being reported, hitting the threshold and tagging the sessions with poor session scores. This can get the IT administrator to start looking into the cause for high memory utilization for these four sessions. Let's go back to the main dashboard and take a look at the poor scores registered. Let's take a look at the threshold that's set for this score. We can see that the disk IOPS threshold that has been set for the poor score is above 100. Let's check the user session details to find out more. It looks like at around 4 p.m., we had 271 sessions registering high disk IOPS. As we take a look at the sessions, we can see a few sessions that have disk IOPS crossing 100 and a few other sessions that have crossed 250 to 300 plus IOPS. Now that we have taken a look at what experience management can do, this slideshow shows the focuses on measuring, analyzing and remediation from the virtualized desktop and application stack into the user login experience. Thank you.